plagiarism, an all too familiar topic in the gaming landscape. So this right here is the ArtStation page of one Sale Lin, who uploaded the following artwork back in December 22nd, 2019, two years ago. And right here you can see the artwork in question. It's this doge, humanoid, hybrid, a medic soldier of sorts. Looks pretty freaking cool. And apparently an artist who was working on Call of Duty Vanguard also found this art to be compelling as this artwork was plagiarized and turned into an official skin as explained here by Salen himself who tweeted the following I have to explain this matter Call of Duty Vanguard some moy skin plagiarism this is a tweet that's already garnered over 30,000 likes having gone viral and these images present the situation starting with the first one that has a statement that reads hello everyone I am Salen I'm the original artist that the upcoming Call of Duty Vanguard some moy skin was plagiarized from I only just found out at the time of the announcement that my work was plagiarized. Even though I am also a Call of Duty player, I am very disappointed to see my work being plagiarized by a big company like Activision in this way. I have reached out to Activision for an explanation and or compensation, and hopefully the situation will be settled soon. As an individual artist, I can only do so much, and I have to speak out about this to stop things like this happening again in the future, which is of course well within the rights of an artist who has been wronged, whose work has in fact been stolen, and especially in a landscape where this unfortunately happens a bit too commonly. And right down here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison between Salen's artwork and the skin that was set to be included in Call of Duty Vanguard. I mean, the points of comparison here are pretty blatant in their similarity. This is straight up just a blatant ripoff of this artwork. Alongside that image, Salen also shared this screenshot showing what the loyal Samoyed skin looks like in-game. And then beyond that, you've got this screenshot of Ravensoft's official website, which features the plagiarized work in this blog post highlighting some patch notes for upcoming content and updates. There's even footage online showing what the loyal Samoyed skin looks like. Here it is if you really want to take a close look at this uh, skin model. Yeah. It is damn near identical to what Selin came up with two years ago before Call of Duty Vanguard was released. Now, it's worth noting that Activision and Call of Duty developers seem to have gotten wind of accusations of plagiarism, given that, whereas before, if we go here on Wayback Machine, you can see that the official Ravensoft website featured the plagiarized work in this uh, Patch Notes blog post. Now, if you go to the same page, that image has been changed to just this one right here showing the Terminator. So this is likely confirmation that this is a case of plagiarism and that Activision and Ravensoft are aware of this and are taking action. Especially given that we're seeing plenty of headlines surrounding this now. Here's a PC Gamer article published two days ago that reads, Artist alleges Call of Duty plagiarized a military dog skin. And then beyond that, Polygon's coverage of this story highlights how a tweet from Raven's Twitter account from Wednesday that features the Samoyed skin is still up at the time of this writing and the developers has not publicly addressed the allegation. That was as of the writing of this article. If we try to go to that tweet now, you can see right here that the tweet has been deleted. Once again, highlighting that the developers and the publisher are aware of this situation and are taking measures to remove the plagiarized content from social media and also likely from the upcoming content update. This video right here showing the Samoyed skin notes that this is content that was set to release on August 3rd, 2022. Given that we're seeing the Samoyed skin being deleted from Ravensoft's official website and given we're seeing tweets with the Samoyed skin getting deleted, I can only assume that that's a skin that will no longer launch on August 3rd because otherwise it would defeat the whole purpose of, you know, trying to do damage control for the plagiarism. And what's especially frustrating artists about all of this is that this isn't the first time something like this has happened. In response to Salen's tweet, for example, Twitter user Fivel or Fivel noted how this is somehow even more blatant than when Call of Duty ripped off Dan Luvisi's LMS artwork. And this continuing to happen within the Call of Duty franchise is just not a good look. Now, do I think that there is some grand conspiracy behind the scenes where the publisher and developers are planning together to 
intentionally plagiarize work? I don't think so. I think it's probably just one employee or one artist who decided to go rogue and decided to take the risk of plagiarizing somebody else's work and nobody knew about it until it was too late, until it was pointed out. But it doesn't change the fact that this keeps happening, that this is still frustrating and that there is a lack of quality assurance, if you will, when it comes to plagiarism and how that seems to be happening a little too often within the Call of Duty franchise. And for those within Activision and a Call of Duty development team who engage at this level of blatant plagiarism, I don't know how they think people won't find out. It's just so obvious that it's bound to get noticed eventually. That's what gets me about plagiarists. It's uh, the degree to which they think they'll get away with it, especially when they change up the homework, if you will, so little. Another case that's been highlighted is this Call of Duty Warzone Mobile Project Aurora logo that plenty of people have pointed out comes from Mobile Suit Gundam. Looking at the images highlighted here, you can see that the logo is featured in Project Aurora and that same logo can be found on this Gundam. And then aside from that, somebody else highlighted that Call of Duty has a bit of a history with plagiarism, so this doesn't surprise me. Highlighting these two images, one of them, a tweet saying that with all the controversy surrounding Activision Blizzard, and it seems like they went and copied a frame from the opening of Goblin Slayer to promote a new anime pack in Cold War, like almost a one-for-one -one copy, what the hell, Activision Blizzard. And yeah, you can see right here, looking at the details of this eye, they added some stylistic filters on top of it, but that aside and a few minor adjustments to differentiate, this uh, image seems to have been derived from this frame right here. And then here's a screenshot of another tweet spotlighting plagiarism that has taken place within Call of Duty. Yep, Call of Duty Mobile on the left and the original artists on the right. You can see right here, if you compare them, it's pretty much the exact same model, the exact same face, the exact same drawing, except they changed the hair color and elongated it a little bit, and then they changed the color of the attire to blue and added some design elements, changed the homework up a little bit. Those minor changes aside, though, these are quite literally identical when looking at them side by side. Now, Call of Duty is not alone when it comes to cases of plagiarism. Recall that back in March of 2021, Magic the Gathering was discovered to have plagiarized Magic the Gathering contract artists who copied fan art. I was overworked, but that's no excuse, said the plagiarist, admitting to what they did. And this is one of those cases where it was extremely blatant that the plagiarism happened, given that the original artist did straight up a not even a side by side just layered layered the magic the gathering art on top of his artwork and it's a perfect fit back in 2019 there was an incident in which an elder scrolls online tabletop adventure was taken down after it was discovered that they plagiarized from dungeons and dragons and then a few times there have been instances of video games plagiarizing from other video games, artwork, and assets, and you name it. So right here, back in 2016, the Uncharted 4 trailer at one point contained artwork lifted from Assassin's Creed 4, which eventually led to Naughty Dog apologizing. Again, I don't think it's some studio-wide grand conspiracy to plagiarize. It's just one or two or a handful of individuals who decide to do it. It doesn't get caught until people start noticing it when the material is made public. And that's when it becomes this big controversy that they have to do damage control around. Something similar happened with Stellaris back in 2019. Stellaris mobile beta pulled offline over stolen Halo artwork. Again, you have to wonder how plagiarists think stuff like this will fly, how they think that in this digital age where the internet exists, nobody will point it out and that this won't become a major story. And then last year, you may recall, there was an incident surrounding Devil May Cry and Resident Evil with an artist claiming that their photos were used without permission by Capcom. So right here, you can see, for example, a comparison showing the Resident Evil 4 logo using textures that were taken from a photo taken by the artist who accused Capcom of plagiarism. And plenty of similar examples are provided 
throughout. This became a whole legal battle that did eventually settle on February 8th, 2022. Photographer Judy A. Juracek and Resident Evil developer Capcom have filed to dismiss the lawsuit regarding the use of Juracek's alleged stolen photographs in Capcom games. Details of the resolved dispute are not publicly available, so we don't know what kind of settlement they reached, but they eventually worked things out. The lesson here to plagiarists being, don't freaking do it. You are gonna get caught, eventually. It might take some time for that information to begin to circulate and for people to connect the dots. But with the existence of the internet, it's damn near impossible to hide plagiarism, especially when you're working on a prominent game or if you're ripping things off of a prominent game. Chances are that if you take plagiarized work and put it into Call of Duty, one of the players may very well be that original artist or the artist may have a community who will point out the plagiarism and the perpetrator will no doubt end up losing their job and probably have a stain in their resume that won't allow them to get hired as easily that will make it significantly more difficult for other companies to trust them so just don't do it plagiarism is not worth it it's an incredibly scummy thing to do to take somebody else's hard work and present that as your own. It's just something you're not bound to get away with. You'll likely get caught. And when you do get caught, it's going to be an embarrassment for you, for your peers, and it may very well sink your career. It's stupid, immoral, and shows a complete lack of integrity. And frankly, a lack of passion for your own work and your own self-value as an artist. If you feel the need to steal from somebody else, instead of making something that's really yours that you can be proud of. And if you're a major publisher like Activision or a major studio working on a franchise as big as Call of Duty, you've got to do better about checks and balances that ensure stuff like this doesn't happen. I'm not saying it's easy to prevent plagiarism. It's impossible to just look at an artwork and go, oh, that's clearly plagiarized. You never know if something's plagiarized or not until people make that connection, but it does happen a little more frequently than it should when it comes to Call of Duty. There are plenty of other studios who have never been reported for plagiarism. It's abundantly clear something has to be done behind the scenes to try to diminish the degree to which this continues to happen, and hopefully this can be abolished entirely so it never happens. But it does seem as though this is a case where the publisher and developer have acknowledged that this is plagiarism given their takedown of marketing materials surrounding this uh, character skin but hopefully there's been some compensation and apologies and just uh, transparency surrounding what happened here so that the afflicted parties can get proper restitution because yeah an artist was wronged here and uh, it's up to the company that perpetrated this to set things right or at the very least, that's one man's take on this situation. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this instance of plagiarism in the games industry. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.